Thank you. Hello, my name is Richard Fink. I'm from Movie Web. Adam, how are we doing today? Good, brother. How are you? You good? Doing great. I just wanted to say up front, love the movie. I got the chance to watch it over the weekend and just so much I want to get into, but so little time. So I guess we'll just dive right in, if you don't mind. Go, go, dive, dive. I mean, the first, the first thing I have to, you know, I'm very curious about is, you know, this is, you know, you've said this is kind of very uh, biographical for you. This is very close to home. Um, and I'm curious as to, you know, what was the mix of not only from your own personal life, but did you have any cinematic influences when you were uh, looking to bring this or were you drawing from any particular films? You know, honestly, that was kind of out of the equation for me. I, I didn't have any reference points for other films. I only had like my life experience growing up in this community and I was able to convince the producers to let us shoot in Nebraska City where a lot of these things took place and uh there's not a huge tax incentive or any reason really to shoot there you know like that would be in in their eyes you know worth it other than what i told them the emotional aspects of it would resonate very deeply with me and i'm very thankful that they allowed me to do that um but that said this this film was built out of note cards over a 20 30 year period i just kept adding memories into a file and eventually put everything up on a wall all of all of the note cards and each one was just you know an individual story like greyhound racing jumping pipe bikes into pool like selling fuck dogs like like all of these sense memories for me and then taking them and stitching them all together with kind of an amalgamation of the people and memories that i had uh some some 100% real, some fictitious, you know, uh, and the ones that were fictitious were were still true in the context of like when we grew up in the, the space. So it it's um, for, for me, it's just a really, it's like my past and present combined together uh, in a really surreal way. <laughs> I mean, you, you, I can tell that there's a lot of you in this movie and I, there's, I'm curious as to like, you know, the setting 1991, yeah. was there any specific uh, time period detail that you were adamant on? Cause the one, the one what? that stood to me especially was the, was the Diet Coke. Yeah. Uh, my mother, big Diet Coke drinker. And she even said it was like the early nineties is when she got really hooked into it. Yeah. I mean, like the, the, the era for me that was so fascinating was, and I had always framed it as post uh, post Gulf War, pre Never Mind. So post Gulf War, pre Nirvana, Never Mind. There's a little window in here, and the 90s are not developed at all. When people think of the 90s, they're really thinking of like mid, maybe even late 90s. They're thinking about the fashion and the stuff of that period. We're in Nebraska. Everything's maybe a year or so behind whatever trend there is, with the exception of Nirvana. When Nirvana came out, it was it was huge, and it changed everything overnight. But in this little period of time, the music's more, we were listening to like Yo! MTV Raps and Headbangers Ball. And it was a weird, the music was like crossover music. It hadn't, the 90s hadn't been de decided yet. You know, it hadn't gotten to what it what it became. And, and so that little window in there was really interesting because I really haven't seen much uh in that space you know the, the the haircuts and stuff and everything they're more 80s and they're more uh, the clothing is more late 80s than anything um so just as some references but um yeah i uh i i was really interested in that particular year because i had a choice of like 91 92 or 93 and this 91 was the most interesting for me to tackle I mean, yeah, because I was thinking, you know, while watching it, it kind of hit me. I was like, there really aren't a lot of um, young, like, movies aimed at young adults anymore, really, that are kind of like for them of their gender. You know, even though this takes place in the 90s, it can be very relatable to every everybody. I, I and, know. Yeah. And that's kind of what I was thinking about is like, you know, was that sort of like, was there like from you like an appetite to make something that, you know, that you just don't see anymore? Or? What kind of motivated would, this to be the project? I, would, I wouldn't say that I had some appetite to make something that's not seen anymore. I'd say the appetite that I had was to be really truthful and make something that resonated deeply with me. And then you hope that everyone else gets on board with it when they watch it, you know, because I feel like if you do, if you dig deep and you do that kind of work, 
you know, it can't help but be universal. And I found that through some of these uh, first screenings we've done this past week, the universal aspects of it across the board, people are coming in pe people with different cultural backgrounds that have that lit that grew up in different countries and stuff are at these screenings and they're telling me too like i had one guy that was that he was convinced this was just like him and his buddy growing up uh he grew up in china on the border with russia you know and he, he still was relating these aspects of like how universal it was for him with his friends and i and i thought that that was really beautiful and you know i was you know i was thinking the same thing it's funny how Often, how there are so many things in this movie, so many little details that everyone I think can relate to. And I guess that kind of gets into my next question in terms of, you know, there's been a lot written and said about, you know, kind of the state of comedies and young adult movies for a theatrical audience. And, you know, do you, like, wh how, how do you feel about, what would you say to get people out to go to a movie that like, cause this is just as worthy as anything on a big screen. And why, like, what, like, what's a reason people should want to go out and see this movie as much as uh, an IMAX Dune or something? Audiences are a lot smarter than people give them credit for. Uh, I, the dumbing down of this over the last 10, 15 years is absurd to me. Um, so movies about young people that tackle young people problems and in, in a way that's universal is so needed. Like, where are these movies? They're they're not happening, and why aren't they happening? You know, that's what we should ask. Why why aren't we demanding that? You know, I I I'm very I'm very moved by the cast performance in this film, and I love working with you know the boys and Mika. It, it, they're just fantastic in it, and there's there's so much soul in this movie. Um, it, it's just it's sad to see you know. Uh, things not get made like this anymore uh i don't i don't i don't know what the reason is sorry it's a fly in here because you know i mean back to the cast you know yeah. the cast is just phenomenal in this movie and i'm curious to how long it took you to find everybody because it seems like it almost feels like these actors were kind of tailor-made for these parts that's a testament to them because it came together pretty quickly and really the really the requirement that I had asked for was that I have two weeks to spend with them prior to shooting so they could really absorb the community in which I was raised. And they, they all came to Nebraska early and got to experience it. I mean, we had we had Gabe and Connor working an actual snack shack at the pool before and just, get, you know, vibing on the town. We got them bikes so they could ride around and just experience it like my best friend and I had experienced it growing up. And I, that, was, that was cool because they're not, you know, Gabe's from Canada, like, but, uh, you know, Connor's from California and it really gave them a sense of and it, it, it framed it up from the script. I don't know, sense wise, they they just they did such an incredible job, like absorbing the community. And and I don't know, I just I feel like I feel like they grew up there when I watch it. I really do. I feel like that they live there. It comes off just so wonderfully on screen. And Adam, I wanted to say thank you so much for staying down. I love the movie and I cannot wait to tell everyone about it. Uh, I thank, thank you for you. sitting down with me and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you too, brother. Thank you.